Hello all, welcome to Tech Capture. So in this video, we are going to discuss about data flow streaming job. So in our previous video, we already discussed about what is a Google Cloud data flow and how to create a data flow batch job. So initially, we created a data flow batch job using a Google provided template and later we created a batch job using a job builder. Now in this video, we are going to create a first data flow streaming job. So let's first try to understand what is a streaming job. So this was the example we used in our last video where we created a data flow pipeline to load a CSV file in a cloud storage bucket to the BigQuery so that file is having a thousand records and all these records loaded in one go as a batch in a BigQuery. So that was our batch job. Now we'll receive a data in a streaming format. So we'll receive a data in real time, one record at a time and as soon as we receive record in PubSub, we are immediately loading into the BigQuery. So all thousands of records are not loading in a batch. So we are getting the data in real time and as soon as we receive the data, we are loading it into the BigQuery using a data flow streaming job. Okay, so that is the difference between batch job and streaming job. In batch job, you load all records at in one go. In streaming job, you load each record whenever you receive the record. Okay, so that's a difference between batch job and streaming job. Now let's summarize what we are going to do in this video. So in this video, we are going to use a Google provided template. Okay, so we'll use a PubSub to query template. So first, we'll create a PubSub topic for source streaming data. Then we'll create a, for destination, we'll create a query table. Then we'll create a data flow job for streaming which will keep running until and least we receive a data and we will look for the data in a running state then we will test the job by manually publishing one record in PubSub topic if we see the data is available in BigQuery and job is working fine then we will stream a thousand plus records in PubSub and validate streaming job so we will keep pushing the data into a PubSub topic through a Python script in an interval of time 10 seconds or 5 seconds and then we'll keep checking the records in a BigQuery if our streaming data is loading continuously and in real time. So that all things we are going to do in this video. So just stay tuned till the end and you will learn how data flow works for a streaming job. Okay, so let me go to the Google Cloud Console now and I'll start creating our first data flow streaming job. So I am on my Google Cloud Console and this is the home screen for the data flow. So you can see in previous video we created a data flow batch job using the template and here we created a data flow job using a job builder. Now let's go and create a streaming job using the template. So I'll just give the name as data flow streaming demo. Okay. I'll just give the name as a 01. So if it will fail, I'll again just rerun it with a 02 template we have to use a streaming template so these all are a streaming template but I need a PubSub to BigQuery so I'll just choose PubSub to BigQuery here and it will ask for some fields okay so we need a output table we need a input topic so first we'll create a BigQuery table so we had created one data set in last video that is a data flow so here I'll create a new table Okay, and I'll just name as employee streaming. Okay, and here I will create a schema as well. So we are not only creating the table, so we'll create a table with a schema that will create three to four field here so that we can stream the data into a BigQuery. Okay, so I'll just go and I'll create a field. So first I will create column for employee ID. I will just use it as an integer then I'll create one for a name okay so this I will use string then for one for salary okay and this I'll just choose again as an integer and last I will choose a timestamp because I want to know when my data got loaded when we'll stream the data into a pop sub so I'll create one for a timestamp and I will choose a data type as a timestamp now I'll just create my table so now you can see EMP stream is streaming is created and it is having a four field now EMP ID name salary and timestamp 
so let me just copy the table name okay so this will be our destination table name so we'll need this table name here okay now streaming one exactly once we'll keep it default and here we need a pop up topic so currently we do not have any topic available so what i will do i'll just create topic so you can give the topic id so i'll just give df streaming demo okay so this will be a topic name and i'll just create the default and i will choose this as my in topic and meanwhile i'll just open the pops up as well in another page so i'll just open the pops up okay, i'll just open in another tab so well, let's see what else it need we don't need a subscription so we have a pops up topic we have target table uh, now let's go and create our data flow job so i'm not customizing anything else and i'll simply run my job so job will be in queued status for a couple of minutes and after that it will be in streaming status so this job will show as a streaming because it keeps running and looking for the data so currently you can see this is in queued status there is no worker started yet you can see nothing here as soon as the worker started and vm instance created at the back end your job will be in a streaming state okay so uh, let's wait for some time and once job is available in the streaming state then we'll check if there is any error then we'll look for the error and we'll troubleshoot that error and try to resolve that now you can see the da job is in starting state okay and after some time it will show at the running now you can see it is a running if i go back you can see it is in running state now and type is streaming so you won't see any end time here because this job is always in a running state and let me show you at the back end it will create one virtual machine so that i explain you in last video as well so whenever the data flow job creates it create a worker node at the back end that is a virtual machine okay so currently it is not created yet but it will create a virtual machine here and once a virtual machine is created for the streaming job then your job execution will started okay so it created a df streaming demo 01 that is the worker node is created so our job is running now so let's see by pushing one record okay so now let me first query our table so there is no data currently in our table let me just try to see i'm just running the query okay and there is a no data current if i look for the schema so this is my schema and now what we'll do i'll just manually publish one record just to test if everything is working fine okay so this is my pop up topic and i'll just open this topic and i'll manually publish the message into this topic okay so i'll just publish a message so we need to publish the message in the json format and the schema should be matching to our the query table so here what schema we are having so we are having employee id which is an integer so i'll just use the same format employee id okay so i'll just push the record with one comma then second we have a name i'll just give the name as a vishal so this is again string so it should be in double quote okay i'll just give comma and then we have a salary and this should be again integer so i'll just give a 1000 so let's try to publish this message and let's see if you can see this data in big query okay so let's try to execute a query again okay now we can see we got the data here now we haven't pushed a time stamp it was optional so it is not showing a time stamp here so it means our job is working and if you see in the job as well it will show here how much data it has a return okay bytes return 42 now what i will do instead of manually publishing the message i'll just try to 
simulate the real time environment so I'll just keep pushing the message after every 5 seconds in the pop sub topic using the python script and I'll validate the data into the BigQuery table if I am receiving the data in BigQuery table in a real time okay so I have one a python script here so this python script keep pushing the data after every 5 seconds so I'll just change it to interval to 5 seconds okay so it will keep pushing the data every 5 seconds okay and here let me just change the name of the topic in my job okay so and I'm giving name employee ID name salary and timestamp so let me just execute this script and you should see the message will start publishing into the pop sub topic and we'll keep querying the data in the query so currently there is only one record so now if the script is started it will start publishing message one by one okay so it got an error let me check what is an error so invalid resource name here so let me check okay so here is a space you can see so let me remove this space I just saved now and let me execute this again let me first clear it okay and let me just execute again so this streaming.py will keep streaming the data into a pop sub and as soon as we receive the data in so first record it pushed employee ID 1 name a robot let's check in a query so I'll just execute the query again okay so two record pushed now four record pushed so you will see the data is coming and with the timestamp of interval of five to six seconds so you can see here every five seconds you will see the data here so now six records seven records eight records nine records and here also you will see the stats in your uh, data flow job okay so you will see the stats in a data flow job as well all your specifications okay so you will see the data written here let's keep increasing and you will see the more and more records because now we started the streaming job and it will keep pushing the data into a big query here you can see the 13 record let's see we are on 15 here so it's continuously loading the data in a real time so within a second you will see a data in a big query so that's how so that's how we created our streaming data pipeline and one more thing here so when you go to a streaming job and you try to stop the job it will ask for two options here first is cancel or drain so cancel will immediately cancel and will not load the record which are in midway between your pop sub and a big query but if you do a drain then it will load the data in a buffer as well so what I will do I will just immediately cancel so even though records last records published from here it will be stopped immediately and will not see that record in a big query so what I will do I will just cancel now and I will stop this job so always remember you have to stop this job else you will pay for your VM instance because this job will keep running okay it's not like a bad job that once completed it will finish now you can see the last record published here 28 29 let me close this as well the last record was employee ID 29 but here you won't see the last record because we did the immediate cancel okay so let me just run the query again so we should see 26 27 or 28 records only see only 27 record because the last two records were in the buffer and we immediately cancelled the job so it did not take the buffer records and you can see all stream data into a big query now now hope you understood how to work with the data flow streaming job and how to create a streaming job using pops up to a query google provided template so that's it for this video you just try it in your environment if you need a python script 
just let me know in the comment section I'll share the Python script as well so you can test the Python script or you can just push message in the pop sub manually and you can test okay so just let me know in the comment section and I'll help you out so thank you for watching this video and we'll see you again in a further video